guys. Good uh, to talk about all the stats on what you guys are doing over here. I was wondering if you guys had any update on the, the questions I asked in the previous space. Uh, could, could you uh, kindly remind us uh, the questions? Yeah, was right? my concerns about uh, Titan X. The, uh, pretty much, what was it? The first one was the call function. Uh, there was no public call function to call the contract. It was only uh, through the creator contract, which obviously is Jake or some entity um, out there. And I think the second one was the 30% allocation back to the founder of the Titan X within, I don't, I don't remember how many days, but it's towards the end of some cycle coming up. I think he gets like 30% of the allocation for something, right? Uh, I, I don't believe it's the thirty percent. Um, there is an eight percent that goes to um, the Genesis wallet, but not thirty percent. But in any case, there is a percentage that goes, to, and, and that is part of the the, the the light paper is quite clear. And by the way, every developer or founder who builds on top of Titan X would also get an eight percent rebate of all Titan X tokens uh, are burnt. And I think, as Jake has said, or you know. Uh, all along is that if you put in the work and you contribute to community, you build a project, you should be paid. There should be incentives. And if the incentives are right, we definitely will succeed. We definitely will at least get projects that get people building. If building worthwhile projects, but if there are no incentives, um, then you get what you get. And so, and I quite agree with that. Um, now the the other question is the call function in this. Um, I think when you when when we had the earlier spaces, we only had this V one um, V one uh, uh, buy and burn pool, and there were a lot of of course discussions in that. And and I think uh, Jake's view at the time was that he did, especially at the very early stages of of the project, um, he didn't want people. Or he didn't want, you know, he, he didn't want the project being front run. So he didn't want uh, if 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 it was so predictable that, you know, the buy and burn was were going to uh, occur at certain predictable intervals, people could simply just, you know, buy and dump into it, right? and, and 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 these are not necessarily people who would have uh, the interest of Titan X or the growth of Titan X. So he wanted to keep it random. And of course, there were a lot of uh, uh, you know um, comments uh, that 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 came back to him. And of course, I, I I did take these comments back to him, of course, as well, on my, on my account. But the, the 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 concern was raised in, in 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 Telegram group as well, and so on. And and Jake set up a separate pool because, of course, you know. That as it is, he can't just go in and and and, and he he doesn't have access to the V1 pool uh, funds in the V1. He doesn't have access to that. So the only way it could have been done in order to just you know um, calm um, uh, you know nerves or or address concerns was to set up V2, which really pretty much is a community owned uh, here, where you as a, as a member of the community can actually call. Um, can go in at any time and trigger the buy and burn function. Now, Jake still can um, adjust uh, the 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 number of tokens that uh, you know uh, is released at certain intervals. Number of ETH that is reserved, or or, or, or you know, at in, sorry, not reserved, but it is released at certain intervals. To, to buy and burn. Of course, he had. He definitely has that. Still has, um, in that sense, that uh, you know that that function. But somebody has to do that. Uh, as you know, I think I'm Mike. I think Mike has explained this. Of course, here with blockchain, this really when we look at automating these sort of functions, it, it's it's oh, it's it's at the moment the technology is not there where you can automate these. Uh, so. He's performing this on behalf of the community. It's a community-owned uh, project. Um, the community is able to go in, 
and uh, as mentioned, is and, and, and trigger the buy and burn function. So the concern has been addressed as long and short of it. If you go to the, to the protocol and look at it, you, you have V1, V2. Uh, there are no, there are no, no further eat, um, eat uh, going into your V1. The V1 is only is about 10 million, and actually has since been surpassed by V2. V2 is now double that, so it's about over 20 million in V2. So in total, you got over 30 million. No further, no, no additional eat will be going into this V1 as mentioned. I think um, a few weeks ago, I think precisely 26th of of, of, of November. Um, when we had, uh, you know, discussions on on this, on on on, you know, the buy and burn pools, I think you had a, you know, the the buy and burn for the the V two itself had only just, you know, sort of was only just set up a few a few days before, and I think we only had about seventeen thousand. Um, I, I can I can definitely check that here, but let me see. We had about. Um, in, in V2, yeah, we had about 17,000 um, USD worth of eat there. Now, from 26th of November to today, which is 23rd, that's less than a month, we have 20 million, or in excess of 20 million USD. I think the community, I mean, the community spoke, Jake responded, confidence has been demonstrated across the protocol so far. And so it co continues to be a discussion in progress, uh, you know, uh, a work in, in progress. Um, um, you know, decentralization is really where we all want to get to, but I think this protocol is as decentralized as, you know, the closest thing to a f the only bit that you probably, you know, you can point at to say, okay, is this bit I talked about is, 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 is Jake being able to adjust, if you like, the drip or, or the release or the amount of uh, uh, um, E that's released in the relevant time intervals, but he doesn't have access to the pool. He doesn't access. He doesn't have access to the funds at all. Um, and his 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 con you know, if you like his retention of that ability to 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 regulate the release is 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 you know is a necessary uh, 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 function that uh, someone has to perform. And I think. Mike and I were, were talking about this at some point in the future, and I think uh, Jake talked about this, I think even with V1, without the V2, he did say that once the protocol stabilizes and has sufficient liquidity in it, if it has, for instance, 500 million USD worth of VIP or, or in excess of that, and I just, I'm putting that figure out there, um, you know, it probably, might be a time to renounce it completely, but there would always be a debate one way or the other to say, listen, you know, you renounce or do not renounce uh, that 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 function. Um, and I, I think hope that that, that addresses addresses your uh, you know your question sufficiently. Yeah, a little bit. Can um, I add something to it as well? Just... Please. Yeah, sure. Uh, pro probably just maybe you have another question. Just go ahead, and then I'll probably uh, say my piece as well. No, I'll, I'll listen to you first. Oh, all right, no worries. Yeah, so, Paul, uh, I, I think uh, one of the things is also I made a video regarding this. Uh, maybe you could have a look at it. I pinned the tweet on top of it. I mean, sorry, guys, I don't know. It seems like any question which comes up, I just gonna pin some of the stuff which I did already. Uh, but yeah, I mean, some of these things I went through myself, especially in the beginning and uh, before I participated and then just created content uh, around it. So probably you might have a look at that and then you can see exactly on the code level what can actually be done uh, or what the admin keys can actually do at all, basically, because it's like it's one thing to just say there's an admin keys, but it's more uh, it's not like black and white like that. You know, so it's it's a bit nuanced about okay, can people actually have access to the funds and stuff like that? Well, that's not the case, right? And then there's some other things. Well, I mean, probably in the video I go through some some few things. Maybe that would make a bit more sense. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's one thing I would like to say. And regarding the percentages, um, yeah, it's it's so it's three percent for the ETH. Uh, which comes in from starting any miner, three percent of that goes to the Genesis wallet, and from for every miner, uh, eight percent goes to uh, like 
eight percent of a uh, miner goes to the Genesis wallet as well. They speculate obviously uh, on the Genesis wallet. We we cannot really know what was going to happen, but obviously we can speculate what's going to happen. And what we speculate on is obviously that eight percent tight snakes which get minted to the Genesis wallet will be used later on to uh, to create the pair hyper a Titan X pair pool that pool basically that will that's going to be created there and 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 on top of that as well one thing I mean this is now some speculation uh, because they, we don't know exactly what's going to happen so there's one there's two things which could happen as well right I mean at some point uh, he like Jake could, or whoever controls that key uh, can renounce ownership that's one thing the other thing as well is the Genesis wallet, he could set up a new Genesis wallet, like which would go to the buy and burn directly. So even that ETH which comes in, which is a three percent, at some point, I mean, he could do that for sure. That's uh, technical. Uh, the technical capability is there. That all those, all, even those extra minting which is happening, it's only for this duration until Hyper comes out. And then a new address, so it will be just set to the uh, buy and burn contract. And then whatever that ETH will just go to the buy and burn contract. And also the Titan ETH can also flow just in there. So that's also something which I'm speculating on.